All right, guys. So <laughs> on this episode of Cinema Watch, right, which is what I'm calling this series, the series of uh, very disturbing videos of far left lunatic activists uh, stalking Kirsten Seminar, OK, over a three point five trillion dollar uh, reconciliation bill that the progressives want to pass in Congress. Now, um, the, the most hilarious part about this is that what they're actually asking for in this bill, which is a pathway to citizenship, aka amnesty for illegal immigrants, um, it's not actually in the damn bill. Right? It's not actually in the bill. So they're literally begging her for something that she has no control over, right? That's the hilarious part. And I'm going to talk more about that later as the parliamentarian keeps giving the illegals plus the Biden administration an L on this issue. But I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in this video. First, uh, let's play some footage of Kirsten Cinema <laughs> being followed in the airport, right? And, and stalked and harassed. And then subsequently, when she's actually on a commercial flight mid-air being approached, by an illegal right about something that she has no power over roll the clip funding this <laughs> that's the first question i got somebody is funding this there's no way <laughs> an illegal an illegal got on a flight the same flight kirsten cinema was on right and you know she approached her before because she was like hi my name is karina do you remember me um i'm here illegally and um i want you to give me a pathway to citizenship because um i had all this bad things happen to me that um, it's really not your fault. You don't hear, really have anything to do with it. But um, I, I, I just feel like I'm entitled to be here. I'm entitled to citizenship. Guys, the nerve of some people, bro. The nerve, the unmitigated gall of some of these people to demand citizenship in this country. Right? 
It's insane. It's asinine. It's unbelievable. You think that you just deserve to be a citizen just because you're here. You're lucky that you're here, right? You're lucky that you got DACA that allows you to be here illegally just because you came as a child. You're lucky, but you want more. You want more. And these people keep talking about, well, we want a pathway to citizenship. You already have one, right? That's a legal process. Get in line like everybody else. But they don't want to do that. They want shortcuts. They just want to be citizens. If I was curious to cinema, I would have pulled out my mask and kindly said, <laughs> where are your papers, right? Show me your papers. <laughs> I also would have told her, stop harassing me over something that's not even in the bill, right? It's not in the bill. The sentiment parliamentarian continues to give the Biden administration an L on this issue. Um, they've been trying to get immigration in there, but it's not, which makes this whole situation so, again, it's funny, it's hilarious, but it's also not at the same time, just because I don't like seeing women get harassed like that. But here's the thing, guys. Um, I'm not even really super duper opposed to amnesty, right, under certain conditions, right? Reagan did amnesty, so it's not like one of those things that, you know, Republicans haven't done in the past or been open to. And the reason why is because I would rather um know who's here one have them be documented two uh i want them to pay taxes right i want them to pay into the system um that they're using okay and that they're benefiting from and then three i don't want them undercutting the wages of uh american citizens who are here legally right just because they're willing to work for less than minimum wage however in order in order for that to happen before we do anything before we have any conversation about anything we have to secure our borders. We need a secure border. We have to stop illegal immigration, period. Until we stop the flow of illegal immigrants coming into this country, we can't have a conversation about none of that, right? We can't even talk about it, right? We got to secure the border first, okay? Then we can have a conversation about those who are here illegally and what to do with them, right? But we cannot have an open border, right? Where you have hundreds of thousands of people flowing into the country under the Biden administration on a monthly basis. We cannot have that and then turn around and say, oh, you guys are all legal, right? We're going to give you guys citizenship now. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're rewarding crime. We're telling people that, hey, if you come here, we will give you citizenship. That's the wrong incentive. We got to secure the borders, right? The thing is, is that these people don't even know what they're asking for. They're just asking for it because they have been told that, hey, this is what you want. When none of these people actually know what's going on, they don't know what's in this 3,000 plus page bill. And there's a lot of stuff in there, but apparently Democrats are having a hard time getting uh, immigration in there. As like I told you before, the parliamentarian keeps telling them no, right? As The Hill has reported, a second ruling by the Senate parliamentarian has Democrats grasping for straws over how to include some form of immigration relief in their sweeping reconciliation package as activists pressure them to do more to change the upper chamber rules. Senate parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonald on Wednesday ruled against a Democratic proposal to offer permanent residency to millions of undocumented migrants. The second time in a week, she shot down a Democrat proposal that would have provided security for the population. The decision was a stinging blow to Democrats that left them with few options, though some were moving toward a plan C that would involve granting a parole to groups of undocumented migrants. Quote, the next one in line is this parole option, which is not as ambitious as the first two, but it also brings relief to a significant number of people that are here without any documentation and allows them the ability to work, said Representative uh, Adriano Espat, who, along with Representative Jesus Garcia and Lou Correa, has vowed to vote no on any reconciliation bill without immigration provisions. This option would grant temporary immigration and work benefits to millions of people, but not direct path to citizenship. While immigrant groups are likely to balk at what they consider a potential trap into second class citizenship, the temporary nature of parole would directly address one of McDonald's main concerns with the two permanent residency plans. The first proposal that McDonald uh, struck down would have reportedly granted green cards to as many as 8 million immigrants, while the second would have covered up around 6.7 million people by most estimates. 
In Wednesday's ruling, McDonald made it clear that she considers granting millions of green cards a significant policy change that's incompatible with the rules of reconciliation. Those rules prevent uh, Republicans from filibustering the package. Democrats could technically override McDonald's decision with support from the, their entire Senate caucus, but party leaders already need unanimous support for the full reconciliation package and are unlikely to force a vote on immigration or Senate rules on their moderate members senate majority whip dick durbin who has long led uh democrats immigration reform pushes in the senate said wednesday his caucus will continue to explore language on the matter that could fit in the bill okay so yeah immigration is not even in the bill right and it won't be in the bill because they're not going to override the senate parliamentarian they didn't do it with a 15 dollar hour minimum wage and they're probably not going to do it with this right they're probably not going to do it so again what are you begging kirsten cinema for she can't do anything about it. She has no control over this immigration stuff. She doesn't have any control over it. You need to be talking to the Senate parliamentarian. <laughs> That's who you need to be talking to. Okay? Because the bill as is, what they're trying to do does not include this. Doesn't include what you're asking for. So you actually need to get the stuff in the bill first <laughs> before you start asking people and begging people to vote for something. This is ridiculous. And what's even more ridiculous is the fact that the left has full on embraced this type of stuff. They've embraced harassing politicians to this level. Listen, here's the thing. Honestly, this wouldn't even be that big of a deal if the whole bathroom thing didn't happen, right? Because it's like, all right, I mean, she's in the airport. Like, I, I kind of get it, right? You can approach people in the airport. I think a politician should be approachable. I'm not the type of person that's saying that, oh, we should pressure politicians. That's not what I'm saying. You should. That's the whole point. Right. You should. But there's ways to do it. And I would have been cool with the airport thing, maybe even the plane thing, had I not seen all the footage before that. Right. Had all the stuff not happened before that. This has now become something that is a serious, serious, serious uh, issue that I think that, you know, Kirsten Cinema uh, at this point should highly consider upgrading her security. I mean, she might want to raise some money to get an AOC Cory Bush, Ilhan Omar like security force around her, right? That might be what she needs to do because I, I, I'm i strongly starting to feel like this stuff is just going to continue to escalate and escalate because the left doesn't believe in controlling their extremists, right? They don't believe in putting their extremists in time out. Evidenced by what Joe Biden said in response to uh, this harassment towards Kirsten Sinema as, well, you know, hey, you know, it happens to everybody. This is just a part of the process. Again, Democrats, when it comes to their extremists, they see no problem with what they do, right? They see no problem with it. But every time you look, they want to talk to people on the right about January 6th and all this and all that. But you let BLM get out of control and TV get out of control. You let people harass politicians all day. They, they don't say anything. Matter of fact, they openly support it. They're openly saying that this is what you should be doing, right? These are the same people. They try to tell us about Marjorie Taylor Greene harassing AOC, right? Oh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she needs to stop harassing AOC because Marjorie Taylor Greene wanted to debate AOC after AOC agreed to a debate, right? But AOC was running away and Marjorie's like, hey, listen, let's let's do this. You said you want to do it. See, that's harassment. But this right here, oh no, that's, that's not harassment. You, you see how this works? Again, I'm not against pressuring politicians. I'm not against uh, holding them accountable. You should. But there are ways to do it that are acceptable and reasonable, and there are ways that are not. This is not acceptable. This is out of control. I really do feel like Kirsten Cinema is potentially in some type of danger, considering how this stuff is ratcheting it up, right? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.